In this video, we're going to show you how to take the Google Analytics 4 tracking tag from your analytics account and install it onto your WordPress site. And we're going to be using a plugin to do that called GA Google Analytics. So first thing, we're going to log in to Google Analytics. So this assumes that you already have a Google Analytics account and that you've set up your website uh, in principle as a property within that account. So we had a previous video that showed you how to do that if you're not sure. So here I am in the analytics account and I've logged in and I'm going to go to the admin area to get my tracking code. So this is the website here. It's this website Traveller's Tales, which I just show you that that's open here. It's this website. Uh, and you can see I've already got an account set up for Traveller's Tales and I've created a property. Uh, so in Google Analytics 4, it thinks about properties as being either a website or an app or some other thing that you would want to track. And you can see here under property, the first uh, option is set up assistant. And if I click on that, it's going to give us all the various different options. And the one we're interested in now is this first option, tag installation. So here's the property that I've set up. There's no data received because I haven't actually linked the property in Google Analytics to the website itself. That's what we're doing now. So if I click on this, you can see here, you've got the measurement ID up the top and then in the middle is the section we're primarily interested in the tagging instructions. And what we're going to do here is add a new on-page tag. If I just drop that down, this is the code that we're interested in. So we're going to come back to this in a moment. I'm going to go to the website now and show you how to install the plugin that we're going to use for this. So I'm going to go back through to the back end of the website and to plugins, add new. And the plugin we're looking for is called GA Google Analytics. And it's this one here. So I'm just going to click install and now it's installed. We're going to activate it. And if you have a look now, once you've done that in your settings menu, you will see you've got a new item in the settings menu, which is Google Analytics. So if I just click on that now, um, there's some instructions in here that you can have a look at, but the main area that we're interested in is the plugin settings. And here, are the various options for installing the tracking tag. And what we're interested in is this second option here, global site tag brackets new method. And we're just going to take the tracking ID from our analytics account and the tracking tag and stick them in here. So if I go back here and just copy the ID, and drop that in there, and then, how Google Analytics works is by installing a tracking code on every page of your site in the header. So it, it loads up uh, before the page really starts operating from a, from a visitor's point of view so that your tracking tag is one of the first things that fires when the page is activated. So we're gonna go back to analytics and it's this tag here, the global site tag. Copy and paste this as the first item into the head of every web page you want to measure. So if I copy that, go back here and paste it, drop that down so you can see. What this plugin is going to do for us is exactly that, install this tag in the head of every page of the website. So. We're going to save those changes. And that's it then. This is now deployed on the website. The way that you can check that that's working is to go back to your analytics account, close this down, and go to real time. And real time will show you if there's anybody actually on your website. And you'll see that now that the analytics is installed, it visited the site and it's showing one user in this real time section. So that's the kind of simplest way to check that the, the tag is actually running the way that you think it will.